Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video. As you guys can see from the title of this video as well as I feel like I've been hyping this video up so much on my channel. I'm going to finally be organizing my stickers here on camera with you guys. So I have a couple of things here that I've purchased from not only recommendations from planner gals on Instagram and YouTube but also that I found while looking around for these different things. So let's go ahead and get started. I have quite a bit of things that I want to organize and I will show you guys how I was organizing my kits and other stickers prior to the system that I have now, which is essentially the same. I have these mini binders that I purchased from Target from the brand Green Room. They no longer sell these types of binders at Target, I've noticed. So I went on Amazon to look for a mini binder that would fit the stickers and the page protectors that I already had in the other binder so then that way I wouldn't have to purchase too too many things um, so I ended up finding these from Russell and Hazel which do have the gold hardware inside I did see a couple of other designs but I just thought the marble would look really good with all of the white furniture I have here in my office slash room so I ended up picking up two of those and these were really inexpensive they were around like ten dollars I want to say and then I do also have let me just start I guess mentioning everything I have these ultra tabs by Avery which I've seen these all over instagram i saw the really colorful ones but i was really drawn to these from the luxe collection which as you guys can see have like the hollow glitter the hollow shatter this and then i also have this one which is like hollow rose gold hollow gold and i think that's like a silvery color there and then i have these that are kind of that chrome color which there's also gold rose gold silver and like copper so i really like these and of course i will link everything that i um, mentioned down below that i can link for the most part i was really leaning towards these because i thought they were really extra and cute to sort of mark different sections in the planners but i think i might just end up going with the hollow gold just because of the hardware being gold and the binders I could also use this chrome one too. We'll see. I have that and then I have these page protectors that I found on Amazon. I have these which are just the regular top loading ones which is just for one full page. But then I also found these which I really hope that you can see on camera. I found both of these while looking for the other things. And I thought these would be perfect for the stickers that I personally have in my collection. Which are kind of smaller stickers. So I have this one that's opened on both the top here and the bottom here so i thought these would be specifically really perfect for like character stickers that i have and that only opens up up top from the front so there's nothing in the back but of course you can put um stuff in the front and back that's one of them which i will link down below and then i have these i think i found this in a store that was for like a card game so i thought this would be perfect and i've seen these two um sorts of layouts before but for bigger binders and since i am using and i love using just the mini binders i decided to check if they had any and just really searching and browsing around amazon i found these two for this size which i haven't seen anybody use so i definitely wanted to pick those up the only thing is that these are relatively smaller than the regular page protectors even the ones that i had in my other binder were this bigger size so i'm trying to think if I'll maybe just use these in one binder and then the other ones I'll use in another binder for like my kits. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to separate it between kits and um, character stickers. And then I also have this which is the rainbow um, accordion pouch from Erin Condren which is also where I keep and house a bunch of my stickers. I have stickers here that let's say I used in like past weeks which i know that i will be using i have new stickers in there that i haven't had a spot to put in yet just because i didn't have a binder system for these that i knew that i could rely on i was thinking that i could maybe break this up between the different foils so maybe do all of my gold foil silver hollow and rose gold that's what i'm thinking but then i also have like other stickers that i don't have space for like these, I even have like Christmassy stickers still in here that I never used, which I definitely want to save for this year. So let me figure out what I'm going to do. So I thought that before I started, I would show you guys what is in my old binder, which 
this is the one that I mostly use. The other one I actually haven't used in a long time, but this is where I house um, future sticker kits that I'll be using in Plan With Me's, and this is what I have so far. So I just have just different kits that I'll be using in the next couple of weeks. I even have, I think I have up until like May, I wanna say. Yeah, because I think I'm gonna use this one for my sister's birthday. And I just have random stuff. These are extra stickers that I have from um, Scribble Prince Co. And then one that I already know I'll be using for Peru. And then just other things and other kit things that I've never used. And I even have this last um, Simply Gilded really old kit that I got at AD Stash. And I'm just keeping because I have the matching um, washi to it. So, And I think I'm going to transfer all of these um, kits into the new binder. The only thing I do want to mention is that the rings on these are really tiny compared to the other one. So let's put it here. And I am just going to leave the same order that I had it in because I already kind of went through these like last week. So I know I'm missing a couple of kits throughout the months. And so this one is just solely going to be for um, weekly kits and monthly kits. I haven't bought one for April, which I should actually do that right now. Let me put that on my list. Um, I could use the tabs on this, but I don't have anything to separate. Maybe I could separate it for like months. Maybe I can do that. Let's go ahead and try it out. So these come with six, because there's 18 by three, and then divided by three, and then these come with six too. And there's just four of them. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use this one. I think I can get away with using this one. So I'm just gonna start it off right here. And they are repositionable, so you can definitely take them off if you'd like. That's really easy, actually. Probably one of the easiest things you could do. Wow, okay, that's nice. So this is still March. And then I will put one, I think, I want to say this is still March. Oh, this is already April. I am... So let's do right here. That works. That's cute. And then this is April. April. And this is the beginning of May. So let me. Okay, so I have pretty much March, April, and May here, and I don't have anything for June yet, so let me actually put my leftover sheets, and then I'll put the last tab in here. That actually looks really, really cute. That's so stinking cute. I even have room to put another tab here, but I think that should do it um, for now. That's so cute. Love that. Okay, so that one's pretty much done. And then the one that I actually am going to take my time with will be this one, which is going to be for all of my character stickers. I was trying to figure out which stickers fit in here, which is mainly all of my character stickers. Even the longer ones from Paper Shire fit in here. And in here, I was also looking for what fits in here and the ones that fit are these smaller scribble prints co sheets like these icons that i like to use quite a bit so i might just end up putting um a bunch of the icons in here in the four different foils so let me do that so this is where i keep all of my foil scripts in here and whatever it is that i have here i'm just gonna leave but i know i have these new design ones that i have that also fit in there and I know I got those in multiple foils, so I will just put those in here too. 
because they do fit. So, just in case you guys were wondering, so let me put this in here. much done with the ones that I had so all of these are scroll prints co they look so freaking cute and super organized so love this I didn't put anything in the back just because I didn't think it was necessary and I have quite a bit of these and not many of my stickers fit in these anyway so I thought that I would just use it like that I'm missing some which I know I have in my collection and eventually when I organize everything I'm pretty sure I'll find it and I'll just put it here and then these food ones and then this, I don't think I have a hollow one. I don't even know if the hollow exists, but if it does, this is really nice too because then I'll see which ones I'm missing. Like for FaceTime, I know I have some hollow ones in my actual little folder, but I'll just know to maybe repurchase it to have one in here. And then these are just gold scripts that I had and other little things in my collection. So let me put that, or start with putting that binder. That looks really nice. Okay. So that's the first thing that I'll have there. And then I'm going to move on to character stickers. Mainly the ones that I want to put in here are Paper Shire because I don't have space in my other albums. Um, I have one here from Once More With Love and um, Happy Scrappy where I keep all of my Once More With Love stickers. I have to really update this. And every time I make a plan with me, I always take them out. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of sort through all of the stickers that I have here and look what I found. Okay, so I have quite a bit of stickers just out here. And like I mentioned, my ones from with love ones I'm gonna put in this blinder um and I have quite a bit just out and about so these I will put in here they already have a place so let me put that on the side and then the ones that I really want to organize are these and then I want to see also I'm thinking maybe the paper milk the fox and pip ones I really want to put in that binder too and then there's just really these really cute very cute designs one have um, sticker albums for so I really just want to see what it is that I want to put in this binder and I think I'm going to start with Paper Shire and Fox and Pip for the most part so let me see so I will start organizing these and these and the ones that have the two little openings The last thing I wanted to do before I showed you all of um, my stickers and their place is kind of take all of the foil items that I don't have stuck in my little sticker album, like the scripts, and put them inside of this Rainbow Accordion Zipper Organizer by um, Erin Condren. I have, and I think this is where I'm going to keep kind of holiday stickers 
on the first one then on the second one i'm gonna have just scripts from my shop that i don't use on a daily basis but that i would like to use let's say in plan with me's and then just labels or build you stickers from my shop that i still have and then in these three last compartments actually let me put all these together all of my stickers together in one i'm going to put foil items that i have so this is another rose gold kind of item so i'm going to separate them into gold rose gold silver and hollow and whenever i get script stickers or anything foil i'm going to put them in those respective things so that they are organized in a way and then whenever i have a spot for them i can put them and organize them better so that's kind of what i'm going to do right now so as you guys can see i have a variety of full box overlays some icons date dots and other things here so that's kind of what i'm going to do with these for now just to keep things in order i'll put those there and that's kind of what's going to be inside of this in the past i've put a lot more stickers but you guys will see where most of the stickers have gone now that i show you guys and i'm ready to go okay so let me put this in my little caddy so we're going to give a rundown of how i have my stickers set up i went ahead and put all of my once more with love stickers in this album like i showed you guys earlier i took the time to do all of this so now all of my once more with love stickers are all separated and ready to go and i still do have a couple of spaces which is nice because i just made an order um and we'll be filling that up probably then after i want to show you guys this which this is something that i got in one of my simply gilded boxes which if you guys are subscribed to that you kind of already know what it is but it's kind of an album to put your stickers in so what i've done is whatever items i have from like these stashes or just extras i go ahead and put in here which is really nice and i still have quite a bit of room here so things like habit trackers um, movie marquees i have some ombre heart checklists some half boxes quarter boxes one of these from fox and pip some bottom washi some full boxes glitter headers and like side bar items these are just some that I got at the SBC planner party. So I definitely wanted to keep these. I specifically really want to use this because I have, as you guys can see, some icons, glitter quarter and half boxes, and then just some sidebar items. So I like to keep all of this together. And then I have some foldable stickers from Once More With Love, and then some of these KPO plants, which I've had for a long time, and I can't seem to destash them because I'm definitely going to be going to Disneyland and I feel like last time I went to Disneyland I was looking for these and I couldn't find them so that's kind of what I'm going to have here I still just have the um the stuff that came in the box in there and then in here I just have just random things still from the box so that's another thing where I put stickers that I don't usually reach for but that have a place whenever I need them so that's also what's going to happen here and then this is also another item from the last simply gilded box i want to say and it is a little sticker album too this is so cute and it fits her new icon stickers perfectly so that's what i'm going to be putting in here among other things that i use in my either my a6 planner or with hand in hand with my micro happy planner and my budget planner you guys will see that so i have her icons here these fit perfectly in here what also fit perfectly in here are two little bees little bee kits which i really like to use in my a6 planner so i put a couple of those as well as hello petite paper and then i went ahead and put these in here because i definitely use these for my a6 and i use these two in my a6 so just things that i know i'm going to be using and it'd be nice to just have with me not at all times but whenever i can just because this is very compact and i can take it with me without there really being a bulk and then i went ahead and also put my budgeting stickers specifically the ones that i used time and time again in my budget planner when doing um, budgeting videos i wanted to go ahead and put these in here because i always reach for these stickers mainly instead of the other ones that i have in the accordion pouch so i thought that i would just put them in here so i have payday no spend cash envelope i have some budgeting deco 
I also use these all the time in my ASIC, so I wanted to produce this week, and then my budget expense stickers, which also fit really nicely in here, so and that's some budget time stickers which I use a lot in my plan with me so that's kind of what I have in here and I also do have um, a bit more room here which is nice because I just purchased more of her icons she just had a sale if you guys are interested in making your first purchase from Simply Gilded I do have a code a referral code that will give you five dollars off your first purchase so that's kind of what I have in here love that and then like you guys saw on camera I had two of these mini binders and like I showed I have just kits in here separated with the little tabs by the month that I'm going to be using them in. Some of these are empty because I am waiting for some kits to come in the mail but this is kind of how things are going to go for the most part. And that's just what this is going to house. And then the second binder, which is probably my favorite binder because it has most of the stickers that I love to use, is this one. So I went ahead and also added the tabs, the gold um, glittery ones, because I thought they were so cute. And in here I'm going to house my um, small Scribble Prince Co. icon stickers. So I am using, I believe, all three of the page protectors that I showed in the beginning of the video. So these are the smaller ones. This is those. I'm just going really quickly through these. Then I went ahead and put some tasseled planner um, ones in the front just because these are foiled too. The next sticker shop that I have in here, which is Paper Shire, I have um, quite a few sticker sheets from this shop, so I went ahead and put them in here. And as you guys can see, they fit perfectly in these um, other page protectors. So I have those there. And then I have a tab for Fox and Pip because I do have a bit of stickers from her shop as well. So those are those. And then after Fox and Pip, I have a few from Wonton and Amelia, so I thought that I would just keep it in here. I have some little food ones from Once More With Love. I just thought they'd fit better in here um, instead of the Once More With Love album. And then we just have some other food ones. These are from Pretty and Primco, the Coffee Monsters Co, and then the last one just has paper and milk stickers, which I do have a few of those too. So as you guys can see, it came out really nicely, and I love that everything now has its own spot, and that I can get to everything a lot easier. Now the last two sheets are bigger ones that didn't fit in any of my other sticker albums, so I went ahead and just put this one, which just has the holidays and celebrations for the year by Once More With Love. And then I have these little holiday scripts from Rose Colored Days. And I only have those in gold and silver. So I have those in there. And that's pretty much going to be it for this sticker organization video. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed coming along as I organized all of my sticker stash. I absolutely love how everything came out. And of course, if you guys are interested in any of the items that I use in this video, I will go ahead and leave links for that down below. So make sure you check the description box. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!